so excited. And they're right, it is actually the best Shibaki I've ever had. We're Miranda and Jan. We are currently on our first international trip post-COVID. We just had an incredible few days exploring two of the Greek islands. Then last night, we arrived in Athens. Good morning, adventurers. Today, we are in Athens, Greece. We just got in last night, and already I am in love with the city. In the metro stations, they had ruins in multiple locations, which I think is so cool. There's so much history here. We also got to see the Acropolis on our way in. So that is where we're heading right now because I can't wait to see it. The Acropolis is incredible. There's so many temples everywhere and just walking on these ancient steps is just such a cool and unique experience. I love all the history here in Greece. Right behind me is the Parthenon, which is supposed to be one of the biggest, best temples in Greece. And we've been listening to the Rick Steves podcast, so we're really able to appreciate and understand all the temples that we're seeing here. This guide we're listening to is so interesting. I love hearing the stories of the temples. So that tree is supposedly the first ever tree planted in Greece by Athena herself. And then there's a crack up on the temple because this is the spot where Athena and Poseidon battled it out for the name of the city. And apparently he threw a spear so the water came out and there's a crack right up there. Super cool. Right next to the Acropolis is this small hill you could climb and it gives you one of the most iconic views of the Acropolis. There's also a really nice view. I think it'd be a good picnic spot too. Now we are going to head to the ancient Agora. We made it to the ancient Agora. The ancient Agora is a marketplace. Agora means marketplace, I believe in Greek. So this was the central hub. It's right by the Acropolis. And what we're walking on right now was the main street in ancient Greece. And surrounding us would be a huge marketplace, temples, columns, so much. Now it's just in ruins, but it's incredible to walk through this ancient city. We are once again listening to the podcast, walking around the Agora, which has been really, really helpful because everything's in ruins and it's hard to know what's what, but the podcast is telling us exactly what each thing is, which really helps me picture this ancient city in my head and gives me such a deep appreciation for everything that's going on around us. It's also been telling some interesting stories like of the temple behind us. That's the temple of Hephaestus. Apparently Hephaestus tried to impregnate Athena, but failed and impregnated Gaia, the goddess of the earth. And that is how the city of Athens came to be. There's other interesting stories too. Apparently the apostle Paul was here preaching. I read online, I haven't heard it in the podcast, but I think the prophet Muhammad was also here. There was stories of Aristotle, stories of Plato, so much interesting things happened right here in ancient Athens. We've made it to Hadrian's library. This is an ancient Roman library where they used to house a lot of their most important documents. And it turns out that it was huge. These ruins are really big and there was even a church inside here. So we made it to Kostas Souvlaki. This is a little hidden spot, the street food that we decided to go to based off Mark Weens' video. So we're going to try out the chicken souvlaki. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's so good. There's special like seasoning they put on top of the chicken. And is I've had a lot of souvlaki in the past couple days. And they're right. It is absolutely the best souvlaki I've ever had here. It's crazy. Wow. <laughs> Wow. 
We are now walking through the National Gardens, which is a great place to come to escape just the hustle and bustle of the city. There's also a ton of shade, which is great because it's like 100 degrees here today. So as of today, when we're filming this, the Olympics actually start tomorrow. Now, we're here at the Panathic, it's hard to pronounce, Panathic Lake Stadium. Now, this is where they very, they first held the modern Olympics. It is also the only stadium today that is made out of all marble. You can't come to the first Olympic stadium and not run a lap. Yeah, at this rate, you're not going to qualify. Sorry. Now we're going to go claim your reward. All right. Applaud. Woo! Now, as if running a lap wasn't enough cardio in 100 degrees weather, we're now climbing the stairs. Made it! We made it to the top and the view is awesome. We are all nice and rested now after our cardio in the heat and now we are at the Temple of Zeus. This is one of the ancient wonders of the world, which completely blows my mind. I've never been to any of the wonders of the world, but it's my life goal to get to all seven wonders of nature and all seven new wonders of the world. And the fact that I'm seeing an ancient one before one of the new ones is crazy. <laughs> I'm so excited. And then right on the other side of us, we have Hadrian's Ark. We are now going to head over to a neighborhood, I think it's called the Antiofica neighborhood, I'm probably saying it wrong, but it's supposed to be a cute neighborhood that we're going to go explore now. What I read is that this area is kind of like its own little island that has island vibes because the buildings are a little bit colorful and it has colorful doors and I can see it. We made our way to another neighborhood. This is called Pataki Street, and this street is known for street art. We are now heading over to an ice cream spot that we saw yesterday. So there's two reasons why we wanted this ice cream, or this gelato. The first reason is because we've never had gelato in a waffle cone before. And the second reason is because the ice cream is called Miranda. The ice cream is made with buffalo milk, which is different, never had that before. And caramel and biscuits, I think. It's good. They named a good one after me, what can I say? Now we are going to see if we can get into this rooftop bar. So this is a daiquiri that has sunscreen in it. So I'm gonna drink some sunscreen. Pretty good. I like it. That was such a delay. <laughs> no, I'm just trying to get like all the flavor in, but it's, it's really, really good. Um, I can taste a little bit of like the coconut. So it's made out of coconut sunscreen. <laughs> I can t taste a little bit of the edible sunscreen. Edible sunscreen, apparently. So 
I wonder if I can just like rub some on my skin for after being in the sun for so long. So, we're pretty done for the day. This is the excellent end of the day at this great view of the Acropolis. See y'all tomorrow, we're gonna explore some neighborhoods around the town.